Hey everybody, welcome to the other side of the homestead and we're back on a cold snowy day with all the ice and oh, this cold, cold weather um, dealing with a lot of frozen pipes and all the fun stuff. So we thought I'd go ahead and heat up the kitchen and while I was heating up the kitchen, I thought I'd bring you along with me. So today we're going to make um, some shaffles, uh, pizza shaffles. So if you're sitting there right now and you're going, well, it's a shaffle. So I'm gonna tell you, so we can do this with or without almond flour, coconut flour, whatever you wanna do. Um, we're not gonna use any flour today. What we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and use the base as our uh, mozzarella cheese. So I'm gonna show you how to hook that up. Come along with me, let's have a healthy meal. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our bowl. I have, so I've already cooked up some sausage. I went ahead to ground pork and then added the seasons myself and um, got that the way that I like it. So I've got about two cups here and that's what we're gonna start with. So now that I've got that done, now I can come in and I'm gonna start the shackle mixing. So you're going to go ahead and do one cup. Now, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and double this because it's gonna go in the freezer. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do two cups and you kind of pack it. See what I mean? It doesn't have to be perfect. Get that in there. So there's two cups of that. Okay, get that going. And then we're going to do some uh, sugar-free pizza sauce. It's very important, you wanna make sure that's sugar-free. And so for every half cup, we're gonna do one tablespoon. So this, we're gonna need four. So pour that. Okay, set that to the side. Then we're gonna come in and we're gonna do a pinch, which is a little less than an eighth of a teaspoon. One, two, three. There we go. All right. So pop that in there, getting that ready to go. And now we're gonna do something else. So okay, so now I'm gonna add <coughs> four eggs. And I'm gonna throw those on in there. Got that just like that. These are always fun. It's always fun learning new recipes and coming up with stuff to just kind of see how I can keep Garen fed. He really likes snacking on these and they become like chips and I'll show you that after we're done. But you would eat this like a waffle, just like this. So you're just gonna mix well, get all of that in there. While we're doing this, I'm heating up the waffle iron. I'll show you that right now. So that's that simple, that's it, that's all you do. Come over to the waffle iron and this is a mini waffle iron. So you can see I can get eight in there at a time. And I like that because then I get, and this is what she likes snacking on. Then I get that. And so those just break open just like a potato chip. See, pretty good. Now I'm making a mess. Yeah. So we've got the waffle iron heated. I'm just gonna spray it down. Oh shoot, <laughs> I made that meat and I forgot the meat. Okay, I'll just bring it back. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the meat. And we'll mix again. Now, if you didn't want meat in here, you didn't have, you wouldn't have to. I just do it the way that I had it. Just mix that real good. And then feel free as well to go ahead and add any meat that you want. If you want to do pepperoni, do pepperoni. If you want to do hamburger, do hamburger. Whatever, whatever you like on your pizzas. So now we've got that going there. And you know, actually I'm not liking that consistency. So uh, I think that's a little bit too much meat. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another batch in there. 
And this is just kind of how I do it, guys. You know how I cook. So, I like to go buy my recipes, but if I'm not liking something, something the way that it is, I change it up. All right, so then I'm gonna add two more tablespoons of sugar-free pizza sauce. I'm going to add two more pinches of pizza seasoning. I get that at the Amish store and the pizza seasonings are remixed up for me, I love it. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna add two more eggs. Put that on in there. It's been hard getting the eggs out of the coop before they freeze. So I'm real lucky that they started laying a lot while we had uh, other chicks in the brooder. So what I'm looking for with this consistency, I want it eggy. <clears throat> so I don't know if you can quite tell in there, but I want to see the egg in there because that's what's going to hold, help hold everything together. So, yeah, like that. All right. So now we've got the waffle maker is all greased up and ready to go. Grab a spoon, a dessert spoon, which is a smaller spoon, seems to be um, the best to work with on here so that you're not spewing over. You may still spew over. Just go ahead and lay these on there. Just like that. And you can do this in a large waffle maker too, especially if you're just gonna eat it. All right, remember I'm doing this for snacks. So I want more of a pizza chip. about right and then we close her up now if you're doing a large one three to four minutes it's probably going to be about the same here and uh, get that going just kind of watch it because you don't want it to burn you don't want it to get um, too dark and overdone especially we're going to put them on the freeze dryer or in, yeah on the freeze dryer so what I do is I also go ahead and make sure that I have a plate handy because when I take them off, I'm gonna set them to the side and go to the next batch. Now, it's also important to remember as you're doing this, so you'll see as it sits, it's gonna start separating a little bit, that egg wants to sink, etc. cetera. So um, just real important, you don't have to do it the whole time the waffles are on. You're just gonna go through and make sure that you mix it well once more before you put it back on the waffle iron. So let's kind of check and see where, where we're at on these. So see, yeah, not quite done. So we'll keep going and put that in there. This would be fun too for the kids and you can just kind of imagine the different things you can put in. Um, one of the ones that I tried and I really, I enjoyed it. Garen was like, this is weird. But um, I did it with the mozzarella, peanut butter, and um, what else did I put in there? Uh, cinnamon. And then I tried the just the regular pancake batter in it to just kind of see what that would do and freeze dry it. And didn't really care for that as much because um, they just seemed harder. It seems harder when there's flour in there. So now I can kind of smell that we're getting towards the end. Yeah. And I don't know if you can see in there. Kind of, let's see. Maybe I can get video here. So this is the color that we're looking for right here. So get that, get that on in there. Ooh, we're smoking and fogging up. All right, just like that. Okay, <clears throat> so now that we have it at the consistency that we want it, what you're going to do, you want to very carefully, because these are gonna be hot. So I like to just kind of take them off there. There's one, just pop them right out. How fast is that? And like I said, if you wanna eat them just like this, go ahead. They're, they're done, they're ready to go. And again, you wanna make sure that you mix. And we'll come in. Now, when you put these in the freeze dryer, you wanna make sure that your freeze dryer is set back 
at 125 degrees. So you'll go into um, the manual and on that screen, you'll make sure, you wanna make sure that you're at 125 degrees, especially if you've been doing uh, candy or fruit or anything like that. So go back to 125 degrees and then go ahead and set your freeze dryer so that um, it freezes the chamber. And of course, it'll let you know when to add the trays. Usually it takes about 15 minutes, so. Yeah, so that's that. So we'll get these going and then I'm gonna show you again what they look like, which you're gonna get out of the freeze dryer. Okay, so hopefully you can see those clear enough. I'm not sure about that light, but that's what they look like coming out. You can hear the difference. They're nice and hard. That's what you're gonna get. And it's gonna be a cracker texture, but it tastes like sausage pizza. So that's what we've got going on there. That's what comes out of the freeze dryer. You'll like that. However, just as good is the fresh shuffle. And you can see those just kind of break apart. Ooey gooey, yummy. Mm. That's good. Let's see about this next batch. Mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> so I know this is really short, but it was a really quick, quick recipe. And I just turn it around a little bit and I found that this is the best way for me to do it and I liked it. If you're interested and you wanna check out some more different recipes, especially keto recipes, um, I think a lot of these, if you just switch the ingredients like I did here, a lot of these will go towards the carnivore and just make it a little fun, bring you some more snacks. So really great for keto and all of that. And what I did is I found, when I was looking for my mini waffle maker, um, I found a book that was recommended when I bought it. And this is the newest Dash Mini Waffle Maker Cookbook. And there's 1,500 uh, different recipes in here. And so they are days of delicious and healthy Dash Mini Waffle Maker recipes. So take the basis out of here and then go ahead and make it what's yours. So this is gonna work for a lot of people and with a lot of basics. If you're more of an advanced cooker, then um, come along with me and just experiment. And so I really like the experiment, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of really fun ones in here, like con, uh, Keto Vanilla Twinkie Copycat, right? So uh, chaffle, so just a lot of fun stuff and it just makes it really neat. And like I said, again, just play with it, make it yours. And um, you know, cookbooks are just a guideline. We can change anything. So, all right guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too simple and um, check out the book. It's pretty neat. We'll even make sure I'll have Jeep uh, put it in our Amazon store so, and the mini waffle in the Amazon store so you guys can find that. Um, I think after points and everything, it was maybe for the book and the waffle maker was maybe like, it was less than 20 bucks. So, you know, this is just something that you can do, add to your kitchen and ha just have a crap ton of fun with it. So I'm super excited for you. Hope you like it and till next time, go live a life done free. Thanks, Milo.